What is going on guys? Now I wanted to do another review or really more of a reacts video of Westworld and The Walking Dead. Now in the latest episode of The Walking Dead, I've been looking online looking at what a lot of other people have been thinking and what they've been talking about this latest episode. Well, this episode it gets a lot of slack. People are saying that no one really cares about Tara or Heath. I'm not gonna agree with that even though I will say it is a little bit. I know we do want to see more of you know Rick and Negan and everything else. We want to see more of that storyline. I think it was a nice change of pace for them to show us Tara what happened to her and Heath when they were gone. You know, this was a strange episode. There's a lot of questions that come to mind with a community that Tara, she uh, stumbled upon. One of the things though I think is interesting to see is that this other community, they dealt with the saviors and they wanted to fight them. It turned out they lost and uh, the saviors are basically, they came in, they killed all of the, the males and uh, they only left the females and kids under nine years old alive. With that, there's some questions that I have. Now, if they just left in the middle of the night, apparently they didn't get that far because of, I mean, if Tara and Heath, they were able to find them. They're obviously not that far. If you know that there's a group that can kill you guys or, you know, like the saviors and they have such a large outreach, why wouldn't they have kept going? If I was them, I would not have stopped there. I would have kept going make sure you know i probably got into a whole nother state um i know that there's no technology but i'm pretty sure they can figure out a map and figure out you probably want to get a little bit further than that my other question is now if they're hiding from the saviors and they don't want anyone else to find them why in the world do they have these air horns going on and they're shooting guns and everything like that that makes a lot of noise any other human in the area they're gonna hear that now i will say what's interesting to see once tara she was able to escape um and when she got back to Alexandria, this is the first time she's hearing about Negan, about what happened to Denise, basically what happened to everyone because she left quite early on um, before everything went downhill. So she has no idea what happened. So it was just nice to see that when she found out, I, mean, I guess it's not really nice to see, she was really sad, really upset, but you know, she's coming into this with a different mindset because she has no idea what happened. She hasn't seen Negan yet. She hasn't seen anyone really yet. Um, so. She's a little bit distraught. She's really sad that Denise is dead. And, uh, you know, Rosita is talking to her and telling her, like, what's going on. And basically, I think we're setting, we're setting the stage up for Rosita and uh, Tara for them to work together. Try to do something to go against Negan. I think they're setting up that type of plot line. Um, so I think that's what it, what's going on with that. Also, we don't know what happened to Heath. We do know that there was a fake out where they thought he was dead. Heath... It looks like he was taken away by some type of car or something. She found his glasses on the floor and she saw tire marks. So we're assuming he got taken away, probably by the saviors, maybe by someone else. We don't really know yet. That's where we are left off with that. So overall, I thought it was a good episode. Um, a lot of people gave it a lot of slack, but I think it was a decent episode. I mean, it probably wasn't the strongest episode of the season so far, but it was a needed. Now talking about Westworld, we found out a lot of different things with this episode. And there's a lot of different fan uh, theories that are going on. Um, if you've seen the latest that episode, it was confirmed that Bernard is Arnold reincarnated. So that was interesting. Um, but now here's the thing though. A lot of people, they're having the idea that with Dolores, it, this is a multi, not timeline, but I guess kind of a timeline. When you're showing her time with William, um, people are thinking that that actually happened in the past and now if you go throughout the series and you've been noticing she's been seeing herself and it, it seems like she's having different memories and like flashbacks and stuff like that a lot of people are thinking that those flashbacks are flashbacks to different times that she's died and the whole trip when she is with William that actually happened in the past tracing her steps to getting back to the center of the maze. If you remember earlier on, Dr. Ford said that traumatic experiences will make the host remember things. And if you remember earlier on, like the first episode of the series, the man in black, he sexually assaulted Dolores. They think that, well, that's different fan theories are thinking that that could have triggered her to start to remember things what happened in the past. And this reason why she's remembering what happened to her when she was with William. Uh, AKA the man in black. That's what people are thinking. I don't really know if it's true, you know, yet or not, but that's what I, I that's what I think is going on. I think that the man in black is William. For some more evidence of that is that if you remember William when he was talking to Logan earlier on, they were saying that their company wants to buy out Westworld and be a partners um, 
something like that. Now, if you remember later on with the man in black and Charlotte, when she came in, she came into Westworld to talk to him and say, hey, are you done playing around? Are you going to come out? Or, you know, basically she was talking to him like, are you going to help with us? There's a lot of things that are going on. So it was clear to see that the man in black, he has some type of resonance or he's He's definitely someone important. He's definitely someone who's on the board or someone who's a part of Westworld in some shape or form. So that would make sense. That would go along with the theory that fact, the man in black. Um, so, you know, I don't know. That's what I think. That's what a lot of the fan theories are out there. They're thinking. But what do you guys think, do you think he is the man in black or do you think he's not? Let me know in the comments. Section. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I wanted to do a nice quick little reacts mini review type of video. I've been doing these videos once a week. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, check out some of the other videos that I've done. I've done this and I've done other type of videos as well. But so if you like this, give me a like. Check out some of the other videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.